When he got here and I saw him in the crate, like my heart dropped. When I went to get him out of the crate, he would not come out of the crate. And so we had to actually undo the crate, like take it apart to get him out. And he comes out and he runs around me, totally scared. He looks so broken. And that was the first time I saw how skinny he was. And that was hard. He smelled so bad. He was covered in his own feces. He was matted. The first steps were get him into the house. That was hard. He was strong. You couldn't brush him if he tried because he had laid down so much because he was in his own filth for so long. And then I knew it was the right decision to bring him here despite every other person saying it was a bad idea because in that moment he needed somebody. And then for the first two weeks, I just gave him hot dogs and food. I would just walk by his crate, throw in some food. Walk by his crate, throw in some food. Every time I'd go to his crate, lift it up, food. There was a time where he came out for some hot dogs and you can see how scared he is walking up. And I'm like back turned to him, low on the ground, feeding food like this. Because there's just certain body positions that you can do to make wolf dogs more comfortable to show that you're not threatening. And then the next step was getting him outside. I would take him out at 4 a.m. or 5 a.m. so no people and no cars were around. And I did that for an entire month. Scared wolf dogs go through a few phases. So at first he was scared of me, scared to death. Then he was like overly excited about me. As a dog is healing and things are changing and their confidence is growing, they also change their behavior with you and you constantly need to adjust. When we started to exercise, he felt pain, which led to this. I pressed on his paw pad and he freaked out. And that was really scary. But he isn't human aggressive. He's setting a clear boundary that he was in pain. We gave him pain medicine and he was completely fine. It's not his fault that at three years old, he doesn't know how to communicate his boundaries in a safe way. Pretty much within a month or two, I taught him how to say yes to getting pets for me. Soon enough, I was able to wash his stinky, gross body and start focusing on enrichment that met his needs. He really likes cat toys for some reason. The first time he played with a tennis ball was really cute. The first time he ran, I cried. For him, it took eight months before I could even see what kind of dog he could maybe be. He feels confident. He feels safe. He feels full. So his legal name is Scaredy Cat. He is just scared of the world. But he's also really curious. And he's so smart. And he's so complex. And he's so sweet. And he's a love bug. I really love the aspects of I can't make him do anything. I love that he wants to work. It's really all about seeing him thrive. And that makes me so happy and so fulfilled. And it's like he has this life in him that's just so perfect.